Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the properties of script menu of an object in Algodum. The first property I'm going to tell you about today is the area property. The area property in Algudu can be used to calculate the area of an object. To access the area property, just right click on the object and then select the script menu. In the script menu, you will see the area property and there the value of the area will be visible to you. One thing you must know is that the area property depends on the value of the size property of a rectangle or a square and the radius property of a circle. The area property cannot be changed directly. You cannot put value in the area property. If you want to change the area property, you will have to change the size of the object uh, manually. There are two other properties uh, called the size property in the rectangle or the square object and the radius property in the uh, circle. The value of the area property depends on the values in the size property of a rectangle or the radius property of a circle. So these are directly correlated with each other. The more the value of the size of a rectangle, the more will be the value of the area. Similarly, in case of a circle, the more the value of the radius, the more will be the value of the area. The size property of a rectangle has two values, one for length and one for width. The area can be calculated by multiplying these two values. But there is a known bug in Algodum that affects the area property. The bug is that, that the area value doesn't change when you change the size property of a rectangle or the radius property of a circle. To fix this, you need to manually change the size or radius of the object. As you can see that when I change the values of the area of the rectangle, it doesn't change the value of the area property. Similarly, if I change the value of the radius of the circle, it will not change the area property. However, if you want to change the area value then you will have to manually adjust the area of the rectangle or the circle. The second property that I will show you today is the glued property. If the value of this property is false, the object is not stick to the background. However, if it is true, it will stick to the background. This property has also got a bug in Algodum. If you change this property to true, it will not work. This property changes to true by right clicking on the object, then click here and select this option. This will automatically turn to true and the object will stick to the background.
Let's first try it in the script menu. You can see I changed the value to true, but the object is still free and it is falling. Means it has not stuck to the background yet. Now let's try this option. As you can see, the value of the glued property has changed to true and the object has also stuck to the background. Now let's come to the third property of today's lesson. That is heterocollide. This property has two possible values, true or false. Its value can be set by two ways. You can type in here in the script menu. Or you can also change it by right clicking, then going to the collision layers, then checking this box. If this box is checked, the value will be true. If unchecked, the value will be false. For this value to work, there is one condition that the collision layer of both the objects must be same. The second condition is that both the objects must have the same value of heterocollide. If one object has true value, the other must also be true, otherwise it will not work. If you set the value to true, these two objects will not collide with each other, in spite of being in the same collision layer. However, if the value is set to false, they will collide with each other. You can change a rectangle into a ruler by setting the value of ruler property to true. As you can see, the rectangle now has changed into a ruler.
to type some text inside the box or the rectangle you will have to type the desired text here in this box let's suppose I write Roshan so it will appear in the box remember that this property doesn't work in a circle object the color of this text can be set here let's change these four values and see how it affects the color of the text the values of each of these four numbers can be in between 0 and 1 This last number represents the opacity of the text. If it is 0, the text will be invisible. If it is 1, the text will be completely opaque, means it will be completely visible. The next property is text constrained. It also has got two values, either false or true. It has relations with text scale property. Text scale property increases the size of the text. The higher the value of the text scale, the bigger the text. But its value is limited by the text constrained property. If text constrained property is false, then the text size can be increased as much as you want by setting a higher value for text scale. On the other hand, when the text constraint value is true, the text scale value cannot be increased beyond the boundaries of the rectangle. Once the size of the text is enough bigger to adjust inside the box, it cannot be increased further means it cannot be bigger than the box itself. The type of text can be set in text font box. Let's make it Times New Roman. If you know the names of fonts, then you can set its value here. Next we have text font size. This property doesn't increase the text size it just increases the resolution of the text means it increases the clarity of the text the higher the value the higher the resolution of the text
The next property is text scale. As I told you, it increases the text size. Let's increase the size of this text. As you can see, as we increase the value of the text scale, it also increases the size of the text. I think this was enough for today. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. I will be back next time with another video on our Google. Thanks for watching and bye.